Hello, this video is going to demonstrate using some of the reporting features inside Open Roads Designer that are survey related. So right now I'm inside my BR file or my right-of-way base map and I've referenced in a center line from a BK file or my geometry base map. I'm going to go ahead and put in a rudimentary parcel using my civil AccuDraw and some points. It's going to be important on how these points are put in and the order that I'm doing this uh, on how they're going to be named and how they show up inside the report as well. So these things will be kind of important later. So I'm going to use my station offset command inside of my civil AccuDraw and I'm going to tab into the offset command. Now doing that I can press the letter O and select my reference uh, alignment so I, now I'm stationed off of that alignment. I'm going to go ahead and type in a, just a random station of 16 uh, plus 00 and an offset of 50 for my first point. I'm going to place that point in my drawing. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing 16 plus 00 and maybe a 150 foot offset for my back, back pin there. Or back pipe actually, pipe set. I'm going to go uh, a half station further and do our 150 foot offset and I'm going to put in that other back corner and 16 plus 50 at 50 offset for my, for my front corner here. Once I have that all plotted in, I could use my element selection and actually select one of these, these uh, pipes that I have put in. I can see that it's ruled so my design intent's there. I have my 50 foot offset off of my alignment at my stationing and these are all editable fields so I can change this to 16 plus 25 if I want. It's going to move it accordingly. So I'll put that back at 16 plus 00. If I also look inside my feature I can see that that feature name at uh, each point is named. So if I look at this point I have iron pipe set 4 so these all have named, these points are all named inside of Open Roads Designer. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my, my parcel by uh, using my geometry tools inside uh, the horizontal command. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. I can turn off my Civil AccuDraw because I won't need, be needing it for this. And I'm going to set a feature definition. So I could set it using my feature definition toolbar and set it active. I'm going to do it in the tool settings um, itself. So I'm going to go under our right of way and we'll just say that it's a proposed, uh, proposed fee. So the name, uh, the naming of the individual components that are going to bring up this parcel aren't as important as naming the complex shape when I create the entire parcel. So I'm not really going to worry. I'm going to use the default name for this and it's going to just uh, iteratively add one to each each uh, point at each line as I go through. But I am going to change my snaps to the origin snap. So I'm going to double click on my tool, uh, my snap bar there, my uh, snap toolbar, and I'm going to use the origin snap. So the origin snap, snap is important because it's going to add that design intent that I intended to hit the center of that, uh, that point that I put and it's going to use that feature inside this line. So we'll see once I, I put some of these lines in. So I'm going to use my origin snap, snap to the origin of that, that pipe set and that one, and get my first one in there. And I'm going to draw my second one in there using that origin snap, my third leg, and then my last one going back to my, my point of beginning. So I'm going to snap to the center of my, my iron pipe there and back to the beginning. So now if I look at this first one that I have, uh, right-of-way one that was created, and I look at uh, the geometry points, inside my geometry points, at the start point, I have its XY position, and then it was snapped using an origin point snap. Now we can see that, uh, that my snap shows up as one of my rules on my point. And that's reference to my iron pipe set one. And if I go to the end point, my iron pipe set 2 will be my other end of my line. So it's important that those are inside there, those rules, uh, when we're creating this report, because we want those to show up inside our, our, report, our report. So now I'm going to use the complex geometry tool, and I'm going to create a parcel out of this. I'm going to use the automatic function, and I'm going to use that same right-of-way line, the 
propose fee right away. Now this time I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it a name of parcel uh, with some X's. We'll just say that's, I don't know what the name of that parcel actually is or should be. But as I use the, the create a complex geometry tool in the automatic mode, I get, uh, depending on which side of the line I draw, uh, an arrow. And that's the way that it's going to automatically uh, build my shape. So I created this by going from iron pipe set 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 and back to 1. Now if I do that the exact same way, I'm going to get that as my legal description, in uh, that order in my legal description. So I, I did that and it's going gonna, it's gonna to shade in my parcel here and I'm going to do an accept to complete. So now if I go back to my element selection, all of these are one, all the rules are there as well, and uh, it has a feature name inside that if I look inside my properties tab. Now notice the rules are now ghosted or in that gray shape. So I can still edit these rules if I want uh, by right clicking on my line and getting down to the underlying element, uh, I can edit that. So now we're going to do some reporting on this parcel. If I select the parcel and, and make it active, and I rest my cursor back on top of that parcel, I get the, the pop-up display of tools. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and select our horizontal geometry report. Now it's going to default to whatever the horizontal geometry report is, um, which in this case it's horizontal alignment reviews, which that's not really what we're trying to look for in this case. I would be looking more for a legal description uh, or something like that when I'm doing some parcel data. So if you notice the alignment name, it gives my parcel. So I added that feature definition name in there. So I, have, I would have whatever parcel it is. And then my legal description I have commencing at my iron pipe set one, so my point and then going all of my descriptions to all my different points and then back to my point at the beginning. Now doing this, uh, there's a couple, there's a bunch of different reports that you're able to do. Um, there's map check reports and uh, there's also uh, the ability to create some custom ones. Now ODOT has, has created uh, one specific uh, custom one that's still kind of in the works um, and I, I don't have it inside project wise at the moment. Um, but I have it from my iDrive. So I'm going to select the root folder and change the root to where our standards are outside of project wise. So inside my workspaces, OHDOT standards, I can go to reports. And I have uh, a meets and bounds legal description here uh, that, that has a, a formatting that's easy to, to copy and paste into a Word document or something like that if I'm, if I'm working in there. So the report tools are, are, are pretty useful. Uh, we can use a lot of the tools and reports that Bentley has already provided. Um, and I can also go inside my geometry tab, inside the general tools, and select any of these. So I can, I can get my map check report, pick my element, reset to complete, and I can get my map check um, so I closed perfectly because I snapped to the center of all those pins um, so I didn't have any problems with my closure there or anything like that but uh, you can also get your uh, your area um, and things like that as well. Under the tools there's format options so you can change your formatting and get your precision right. Um, now these are user and machine specific so uh, I will have to set these up for each machine that I was on um, and each user that was there. So I, I would want this in degrees, but I would want it in degrees, minutes, seconds. Um, and I, maybe I want a zero precision on that. Thanks for watching this web series, and we hope that you find it informative. And please check back for more videos and updates at a future.